Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I have a bit of a random video with me just I'll have a little bit of a rant and then we're gonna go and measure so for some windows we're gonna measure up to install windows uh, I have to order them first but they're actual windows the ones that opens and closes well I guess the software does that as well or the operating system but first the rant so um, out here in the hallway over here I have two faucets of this brand which I did a video on installing one of these faucets a year ago and a, a year and one week after posting that video uh, the faucet I installed stopped working I got this as a uh, birth, uh, probably a Christmas gift oh yeah it probably was a Christmas gift uh, my birthday and Christmas is pretty close so not entirely sure but I think it was a Christmas gift uh, but my mom they uh, they had one as well so they bought two and gave me one for my birthday or Christmas theirs worked like four months mine worked for a year so now I took both of them back to uh, it was Bauerhaus they was purchased in Bauerhaus and uh, both faucets not working and I was sent back home and said I have to do this online so now I have to <sighs> write them an email and take photos and all kind of stuff and I really hate that kind of service and they're gonna ask me to replace whatever and this and that and it's a faucet uh, I have to take it apart take it off to do anything so I actually did sorry about the quick movement there <clears throat> I replaced it with another brand um, that works. But yeah, I really don't want to mess around with a faucet that. Here's the new one. Uh, similar system, but yeah, it. Uh, it's a thing that I just want to have working. I don't want to be messing around with it. And then I run into there that their service sucks as well. I had everything packed down nicely and had the receipt. I have the receipt in here somewhere to um, to manage that and then I was just sent back home again but we need this oh, that's a project we never got going on so I have one window left in this entire house that hasn't been replaced yet and it's up here and it's rather cold up there so we're gonna go through the insulation here which I keep here so I don't know Pack. oh sorry so that I don't have to heat the upstairs uh, or actually uh, it's colder up here it's a lot colder so it has been ages since I've got anything done on the upstairs here and I thought well, maybe it's about time to <sighs> to get something done. So, this window is the last one in the entire building that I haven't replaced, I think. Yeah, it is. And it's a single glazed glass and it's <sighs> wood and it has it is cracked. But I really wanted a bigger window here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove some of this, this is some insulation wall that is on here. I'm going to move, remove some of that and I'm going to investigate what's behind it so I can figure out how large a window or a couple of windows that I can actually put in here. So um, yeah. And with the new windows, I should be able to to move on up here. <laughs> it's not as if oh, I don't really have any excuses. I just haven't gotten to it. So I need to remove some of this board here, which is really good insulation board, but but it's also quite the fire hazard. Make a little bit of 
room to work with first. And this is much better. So behind the wall somewhere there is some studs to keep the roof up. And I think it's a bright idea not to cut those. I don't know why, but I have that idea. Where are the studs? Oops. Firewood. Wonder if I can figure that out without taking this down. It is insulating very nicely. So it looks like that the wall is built uh, this is built on top of a, a rather big beam there, like a 10 by 10. So right there, there is a beam that we probably shouldn't mess with. Uh, if we don't have to. So probably that window is as far against that corner as I should go. Uh, except if I want to do something on top with a, with a big beam, which I really don't want to so probably don't go further that way and probably they have done the same thing here there's a big one there if it goes all the way to the bottom or not I don't know that yet <coughs> I'm estimating that I have one window but I can probably put in one more. But I need to uh, need to get this layer out. Okay, need to remove some more nails. Not easy to film up against the window. So if I can, I want to keep these insulation mats on there for a little bit longer. So trying to not ruin them. Oh, and that didn't go as well. I must admit, these walls are better insulated than I would have thought. I think I can loosen them at the top and then just have them fall down a little bit and reveal what they're hiding inside. I have to remove that thing as well. Well, I probably don't have to go any further down. That's probably fine. And we just need this corner here. These nails are rather easy to get out. There's a nice big head on them that you can get to. Ah, oh, they hidden one down in there. Okay. Okay, that doesn't look good. There's a big thing holding up the roof there, and there's a big thing there. I'll try and pull the next one down. I was just telling everybody how easy those nails was to get out, and then you have to make it hard. Okay, 
So there's a big one here, big one there, but there's quite a gap over here. So that one is not carrying anything. I need a screwdriver. A pokey pokey thing. Okay, the next big one is in there somewhere. So I don't have any more space here where that window is. There's a stud here, there's a stud there. Then the next dot is right there, so not much point doing anything there, except if I could have a this size window there, a smaller window there, and same size window over there. That might look okay. <sighs> that might not be the most stupid idea, actually. Hmm. But I must admit that this wall is way better insulated than I would have thought. I didn't know that there was this many layers of insulation that I have just peeled off. I have um, I have an idea that I can do some measurements and I can uh, I can nail these up again. Maybe even take this one and put it over here again so that it's it's not as bad. Uh, there's a couple of cold months still. So, but new windows takes quite a while to uh, to order those and for them to to well drop in so i think the thing that i'm gonna go with is this size on both sides of this thing and then i'm gonna put a stud in over here when i take or make a room for that window so it will have even one more stud just so that it becomes stronger yeah, there is a nice beam up here that would probably hold a lot of weight, but I'm not gonna, yeah, doesn't matter. I rather not mess with that, so. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. I need a piece of paper and I need to take some measurements. Okay, I just measured that, how long this is. And that is 100 centimeters. So I'll measure the next one. And that is, this is not the best surface to be drawing on. 60. And then I'm gonna imagine one more window over here. Same kind. We're not gonna do that crap again, but 100 There I need the height Okay, the height of the window Is 125 and this is all centimeters here You could do millimeters that just add a zero um, I'm curious if I can do anything bigger than that because um, maybe not that way not not wide wise but height wise hmm. so here's the window from the outside and there is not a lot to gain here you can see there is like a little bit until it reaches the, the roof down there but this is the bathroom window and that's the same height so I think it would look the best if I keep the same height so probably not deal with this woodwork uh, will have to change it's um, I would also very much like something that looks a little bit better and uh, doesn't need any maintenance whatsoever that would be nice and I never finished this so uh, yeah there's an excuse to do that as well one of the last windows that I put in was this one I did a video on that it's in installing windows I guess I call it <laughs> very amusing and um, there is the issue of these windows not being able to open outwards because of the overhang of the roof so maybe I should look into having the window here open inwards I'll just record this 
it's a good thing filming everything. I can always go back and check my video. If I want to figure something out, what was behind that and how did I do that? And yeah, I have a quite the library of what I've done in the house. There we are, good as new. No one will ever know that we had a peek inside. So uh, yeah. So now I can take these measurements and I can go and I can order my windows at the size that I want them. And it seems like I need two that is 100 centimeters wide, 125 centimeters high. And then I need one in the middle that is 125 high and 60 wide. Uh, I don't know if I should go a centimeter down so that I don't have to hassle as much with getting them in. But then again, that is always a lot of fun. Not really, but yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna end it here. I didn't do much. Uh, we investigated the wall. <laughs> yeah, bring down the wall, install windows. <laughs> and we might have to do exactly that in a later video. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.